It feels really weird to say this, but Vanguard just got a massive overhaul that I've been waiting for, and I think a lot of other people have wanted since the game's launch. We've also got a Heroes and Villain event in Warzone, and at the end of this video, we're gonna go over all the challenges and the rewards you can get. But starting off with the Vanguard improvements, they actually kind of updated the clan system and added features that I originally thought were gonna kind of be part of the clan system with how much they were hyping it up at launch. You can now unlock new things for your clan, which I'm excited about. Win matches to improve your clan leaderboard rank this season. Your clan Clan tag color changes depending on your standing. Team up and win each member when you're playing matches together. And this is a really cool change, and we're gonna go over exactly what it is in a second, but it kind of feels a little bit late to be adding this. It's season five. This is the final season of Vanguard, and if this came at launch, I would have been so excited to grind this. I would have been on right now, going all out, trying to unlock all these challenges, but seeing how we're, what, 80-something days away from the next Call of Duty coming out, it's just... I don't see much of a point, and I'm not excited to grind for this. This isn't something I really wanna go all out for, but here, we can go to the seasonal leaderboard. And yes, this actually resets every season. Uh, yeah, play matches to move up in the leaderboard, and yeah, it's a seasonal leaderboard, meaning next season it's gonna refresh, but this is the final Vanguard season. So I guess season six, or the after season, is, is gonna refresh one more time. But yeah, you can level up your clan and unlock new colored clan tags, like an actual reward for your clan, besides just, you know, the clan tag borders you got early on. So standard, you get the yellow clan tag, which we've seen this, this is what you everyone already had. Now, if you get a thousand wins together as your clan, you get a green clan tag at 2000 wins you get a blue uh 3000 wins you get purple 5000 wins you get orange and then if you're top 250 if your clan is top 250 in the world you get a red clan tag so that's why you've seen a lot of people with a red clan tag it's really weird because only one clan has even gotten a thousand wins so right now every single clan since this is launched is either yellow or red you're either top 250 or are your, your the normal version it takes a while to get a thousand wins as a clan only one clan has done it so far so they're gonna be red the entire time and like i said this is something i want to grind like this seems fun it's just i don't see much of a point to do it this late into the game and i think this is something that a lot of the newer cods have an issue with that they kind of have all these ambitions all these things they want to do when the game launches and they don't have time to do it to like they don't have time to finish what they've planned so then the game comes out season one season two and then later in the game's life cycle they launch these features but these features just aren't near as fun five months into the game like this isn't something i want to go out of my way and do like at launch or even in season two if they added this i would have been hyped to get on and like let's get that red clan tag let's go for it let's get up together let's squad together let's unlock things but coming in at the final season it's just it's it's not something that I want to do. Same thing. They've also started adding the challenges and you can unlock different challenges, but it's just a little bit late for this stuff. So hopefully I am glad they've added this. I'm not upset that they've added this clan feature. I just really hope the next time we have a clan system in Call of Duty, they reuse all these things they've added to the clan system in Vanguard because this last update on season five is the only actual substance in the clan system. This is the biggest part of the entire clan system and it was just added. Besides this, you can level up the clan to level 20 and get some calling card borders. There's been some challenges that last for a week that give you some weapon blueprints, but this is the biggest part. This actual like competitive part of it where you're competing against other clans. That's the whole thing about a clan. That's what the whole part of having a clan is, is to compete against other clans. And they just added this. This is the most massive part of the entire thing. And it's coming later in the game's life cycle. So if they could just reuse this in any way, and maybe that's the part of it. Maybe they're planning on having the clan system for Modern Warfare 2, and they're testing this out a little bit early in Vanguard. And this really is the features and polish we need to see in Call of Duty in the future. Now that they're kind of taking breaks and they're having off years, hopefully there's more development time and features like this are just ready to go at launch. And we're not waiting because I feel like a lot of dev time is wasted. When you're developing these features and launching them at season five, they're just not getting used. Like they're not getting used like they would have been. And the development time on this clan system is gonna be completely wasted just because it's coming out at the end of the game's life cycle. That's just really it. And then we've also got the brand new Warzone event going on, Last Stand Season Finale. And this one's a lot different than the normal events. Usually you're given like eight challenges and it shows you what you gotta do for the challenges. For this one, you've gotta collect hero points, 
are villain points and these are different rewards you unlock and you can see the two different bars down here how you get these points is you can find them around the map you can buy them from buy stations i think right now the best way to go about it is playing plunder and getting a bunch of that way these are different rewards so you've got this emblem right here then you've also got this emblem then we've got the chop chop gesture which looks like an action figure honestly that is uh that's kind of sick i want to see that one then we've got some charms and vanguard charms i don't care too much for i think the best part of this entire event is this blueprint right here it's the uh the conflict spike one of its blue one of its red signifying the you know the heroes and the villains here and then there's the final blueprint you've got the uh here the, the villains mp40 and then you've got the exact same thing in the blue honestly the mp40 blueprints kind of basic i think the ones we've got in the battle pass like the last few seasons are way better than that and then how it works so contribute to a fraction to be part of the team lead them to victory will you be a hero or a villain uh and the way you choose it to be a hero or a villain whatever you've contributed the most points to so even if you play today and you're doing all hero stuff you can still change your mind all you got to do is get more villain points by the end of the event and that's who you're going to pick your side with uh the winnings team weapon blueprint will be given to everyone so regardless of what you unlock it seems like everyone's gonna get it so it looks like the villains are gonna win so pretty much everyone's probably gonna get this blueprint for free and if you choose the right the right team you'll receive a battle pass tier skip uh so that's your reward if you choose the right team uh you'll get a free battle pass tier skip for the final battle pass which by the time this ends in 20 days I have a feeling most people are going to have already completed it. So not a huge event going on here. I think there are some hidden unlocks. I think if you win as a hero or villain, you get a calling card for that. I haven't been able to test that out. I've been playing the new zombies map. I haven't had a time to hop into Warzone unlocking all the hidden unlocks. If there's anything super notable like a hidden melee weapon or camo, obviously i'll make a new video letting you guys know but i think there's just a couple hidden calling cards in this event and i'm not 100 sure what they are currently but uh yeah i'm gonna play probably on stream later today we're gonna go in and my goal is gonna be to get this right here we'll probably end up getting all the rewards but i uh, definitely don't want to miss out on the conflict spike that is what my one goal to get during this event so let me know how you guys feel about this event this one seems a little bit lackluster than the last one i really liked grinding for those uh liquid metal the titanium trials are what, what I forget the, the name of the, the the wow i can't even remember the name of it the red and black the one that you needed for 20 wins i don't even remember the name of it at this point it's already that far off my mind i kind of like those harder challenges where you could get camos these are cool let me know your opinions on it let me know how you feel about the clan changes in vanguard and the new event here in warzone i'll see you guys in the next one make sure to sub if you want to keep fully up to date if you love to like or comment i appreciate you a ton peace i want to give a quick thanks to those who became a twitch sub or a youtube member and an extra special thanks to those who took it above and beyond and became an unlock plus plus member here on youtube we got the legend army tech rex the absolute chad noah the homie flicks the goat rph and then finally the man himself no spice